Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. It took a very odd turn at the end. That may be one of the most messed up endings I've seen. Like, And hey. this is what happens when you hit the bizarre looking new game thing. So we don't know if this is going to do anything or maybe let us pick a different choice to do a different ending. But you guys are along for the ride with us, I guess. Yeah. Uh, all right. Good luck to all of us. So, uh, since that's completely unreadable... Yeah, it just starts... I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally... <gasps> oblivious, oblivious. She doesn't exist anymore! That girl is... My neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Question mark. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would always get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I feel better off running away. However, I just sigh in front of the crosswalk and let <laughs> catch up to me. Whoa! Whoa! What the fuck is happening? What? Ah! What just happened? Okay. Uh, what? Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 We have a computer virus. Okay, continue. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. This is new. Yeah. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. Oh my god, is it acting like Sayori never existed? I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there'd be any girls in it anyway. That's not new. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Yuki? Uh, Holy shit, it's Monica! Monica. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica is probably the most popular girl in the class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Hmm. What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh, i just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Ahahaha, <laughs> about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget, and publicity, and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make it something special out of it. Uh, in that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club, whoa. L literature? That sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. Siri doesn't exist. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature can be anything. Writing, reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Hmm. Hey, Yuki. By any chance, are you looking for a club to join? Uh, don't join, you enormous idiot. <laughs> I mean, 
I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? She sticks her chest out. I won't ask you to join, but... If you could, at the very least, visit my club, it would make me really happy. What is going on? Please? Um... Well... I guess I have no reason to refuse. Bes just the fact that she's... <laughs> Besides, how can I ever refuse someone like Monica? <laughs> idiot. <laughs> sure, I guess I could check it out. Is she, like, secretly going to get rid of all of her competition? Is that what this is about? <laughs> awesome. You're really sweet, Yuki. You know that? It, it's nothing, really. So what would have happened... If we had, like, hung out with Monica and wrote poems for Monica all along, like, would anyone have died? I don't know. Okay. Okay. But I also feel like that choice we made with Sayori did something. I don't think so. No? No, I think that... Here's what I think would have happened, and we can go reload that save, probably. I don't know. The game seems jacked at this point. Yeah. Um... I think if we had picked to just be friends, we would have been like, damn it, I should have told her how I actually felt. Oh. Is what I would guess would happen. Oh my god. Jeez. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. I don't don't trust that, you idiot. And thus <laughs> mark and thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Eh? Whoa. A, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Yuki. Ugh. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls, but there's only three instead of four. So let me guess, you're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Wasn't Sayori the vice president? Sayori was the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Yuki in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know... Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Man, we don't even get cupcakes out of this I deal. Know. Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Yuki? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. Last time, remember, we sat next to Sayori. Yep. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. 
Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teacher give, gave us permission. A after all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that, that, that's not. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I, I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Yuki, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. But manga... I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and, and complex fantasy worlds. That level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, but you know, I, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep philosophical elements usually immerse as me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? You don't say! Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. So are we going to repeat writing all those poems again? Okay. I'm thinking, or is it going to make us read the ones that we had before? Curious. Yeah, I don't know. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I didn't expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really? If a story makes me think or takes me to another world, that I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Wh what? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of your scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to the readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you ever have writing experiences too, Yuri? 
Maybe you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Eh. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea! How about this? <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Uh, um... Uh... Uh... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. I don't know what you're up to, Monica, but I'm going to kill you. Well... I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Wait, we didn't agree to join. Do you agree as well, Yuki? Uh, hold on. There's still one problem. Eh, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Eh? The girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Yuki. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... <laughs> I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? D did you really mean that, Yuki? Y yeah. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I'd be super pissed. Yuki, I'm so happy. I bet you are. We can become an official club now. I bet you are. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Yuki, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Oh, I bet you do. You could... <laughs> no, I'm not falling for your shit this time, you psychopath. Yeah. Can I really impress this class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow then. Can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls, Natsuki, Yuri, and, of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. Yeah. No, it won't, you idiot. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Gonna, gonna, gonna read. Can you hear me? Oh. Whoa, Whoa. That's... 
Do you see Monica doesn't exist in this? Monica's not here. Okay. All right. But I swear it was only the three girls last time, right? Yeah. Oh my, you're right. There were only three girls, and I swear one one of them probably wasn't Monica. It wasn't. It was Sayori. And look at how sad they look. I know. Um. Okay. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Let's pick words that we think Natsuki would like and okay. see where that road takes. What do we think words Natsuki would like are? I, don't I would even say know it was like cute things. Okay. So let's go with love. As between either love or charm. Okay. Sugar? How about sweet? Sweet? Ordinary, whirlwind, unrequited, blanket, childhood, ribbon, skipping, warm. Uh, comfort and, or warm? Let's go warm. Cage, fluffy. Fluffy. I think fluffy. Yeah. You see how they jump when you pick a right word? I pointed that out and you said that they do. No, they look. They do it no matter no, what. Watch. You're right. Watch me pick another one, though. Which one do you think? I think... Um... Wonderful? Go. Now, when you click the word, watch the girls. Okay, I'm gonna go with wonderful. See? You're right. They didn't do that before, I'm telling you. Like that happy little jump they do? Um. Lucky, maybe? Or treasure. I'm between lucky or treasure. Hi, treasure. There you go. Yeah. Philosophy, sadness, rain cloud, promise, peaceful. Doki doki. Well, that's heartbeat. Let's go with that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, bubbles. Okay. Lollipop. <laughs> Lollipop. Uh. Sparkle. All right. Anime. <laughs> Bunny. Um. Strawberry. Yeah. Kitty? We're... Oops, I picked the wrong one. <laughs> That's all right. That worked. Rose. Oh, oh nope. <laughs> massacre. Massacre. Um, joy? I'm between Joy or Valentine. Oh. No. Well, that wasn't an option before, I don't think. I don't remember suicide. Valentine. Cute? Um, vibrant? Hmm? Nope. Peace. Bouncy. Bouncy. Marshmallow? <gasps> Whoa. What? Why is Sayori appearing? Holy shit, what is going on? Hi, Ken Yuki. <laughs> All right, apparently this game is like 300% more disturbing the second time. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> Is that an option? I'd like to run now. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my own word. I want to run. <laughs> okay, I think last time I said I wanted to run for a completely different reason. This time I want to run. <laughs> well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks. <gasps> Whoa. Thanks for keeping your promise, Yuki. Is it because that's something Sayori said last time? I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it? <gasps> oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged to here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come in here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Whoa, I can't even read that. Nets Something Natsuki certainly has a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the class, in the club room. But, but, Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. <laughs> manga is literature. Swiftly just. Defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Yuki. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Okay, can we stop with all the crazy ghosts? Yeah. Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. 
Um, anyway. Now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try be a. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'll be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. You see how the music's creepier too. Are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. She just called us dumb. She did that the first time, too. I know. And we could, you know, d discuss it if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Yeah, you're right. What am I right about? The music. Uh-huh. I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. <laughs> you looking for something in there? <gasps> Fucking Monica! Mm, what the f- What? Uh, what? She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I, uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is. Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a close look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was a ton of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Yuki. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Whoa. Don't judge a book. What the fuck? What? Don't judge. Whoa. I don't understand what's up with this weird lettering, too. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. Is it them? Is it Sailor Moon? It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. What? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. <laughs> she then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wooden chairs... Oh, wait, hold on. I've done that before. What? Where I was trying to be Natsuki when oh. it was Yuki. 
Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh, why is that? Eh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Don't, don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes, after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? <laughs> huh. You don't? Um... That's not... She doesn't have any friends. Well... I, I wouldn't really know... What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. <gasps> if we're going to find out her parents are abusive to her, because that's what's That's like her disturbing thing? Yeah. That's so messed up. Uh-huh. So I wonder, like, can you only get this once you've done one ending? I think so. Like, I'm wondering, do it, like, if Sayori always... I'm thinking Sayori always dies your first playthrough. I'm wondering if she does, too. I'm thinking. That, and then, like... I'm thinking now Nets like, because all the scenes revolve around Natsuki, I wonder if she's next. Yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna go, it's either Yuri or Natsuki, and it's vice versa, and then Monica's left, and then you're gonna find out what her deal is. Oh, shit, so you gotta play through this four times, but I'm guessing that probably gets shorter since there are fewer members. Right. Jesus Christ. Stick with us, we got another oh like three God. endings to go to find out what this crazy shit is. Just when we thought, we were like, oh man, I can't wait to get to the horror. Like, this is... This is it like, warned you that it was messed up. Yeah, I'm still not over Sayori's death. And then all this creepy, like, weird um, computer glitches that keep yeah. happening are just, like, freaky. At least it's safe here in the club room. Ugh. Except Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? What the fuck? Like, oh, your dad beats the shit out of you, and your club president is a jerk to you about it, but it's fine. Yeah, 
Well, I mean, I'm assuming he doesn't really know what's going on at this point. Yeah. I mean... He hasn't really kind of figured it out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? <laughs> so... <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. <laughs> What's going on? Time oh. passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki? Yeah, yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. H hey! <gasps> what is what? that shit? <laughs> what is happening? Whoa. Oh, what the shit is this? This is not what I was expecting to happen. Me either. What? It, what is? Is that supposed to say something? I don't know. Whoa. Uh. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Natsuki, are you okay? <gasps> Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. <laughs> Remind me, I have to tag uh, Williams in this. <laughs> For throw <laughs> Someone needs help. I'm just going to throw something at them. He'll appreciate that. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give me... She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, Yuki. Shit. She's fine. It just happens every now and again. What? That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. What the what? fuck is going on? Anyway. No, you do not stick your chest and your butt out at us and What's expect everything to go away. We're not How about that poem? Why don't we all share our poems now? Monica, I hate you so much. Okay. Natsuki? Natsuki. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. I'm scared <laughs> to see what it's going to be. Uh? They were so happy in the last game. Okay, well, let's start off with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Uh, Natsuki rereads my poem. N Never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Eh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, ha, huh, well, it's not that great, but let me know, let me show you what real literature looks like. I swear that's what she said last time. Probably. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Natsuki retort, Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. You're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go around announcing it to the whole world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that almost to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Girl. Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Okay, we, so we this is the same this, one as yeah. before. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. 
Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of writing poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Mm. Eh. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, that's you. Sorry. <laughs> um. Oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. That's me. Oh. It's fine. Don't force yourself. <laughs> I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? These are all the same. Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. Do you notice how you can skip things that we've seen before now? But will it skip things that we've seen or will it skip everything? I don't... That's the thing. I, like, I don't want to miss... Because some of these scenes have been really different. Correct. But the whole Natsuki thing, you couldn't skip it. The one where the writing freaked out. So I think these are all the same. I'm not sure. Do we want to read all these again? All right. Let's, um, okay. How about for this? Because I figure we'll finish Yuri and Monica, and then we'll probably call it there. Okay. And then we can decide next time. Okay. Fair? Yes. I guess that might be after reading through it. Ugh, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice it's been several minutes and we haven't really, and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. And I think the most notable thing is I recognize the new writers is that they try to make their styles very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up writing styles separate from the topic manner and they form fit to the two together. The end result is both the style and the expression expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I'd also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Bias? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna read. No. These are all the same. Wait. Yeah, we've done this one before. Is it? Yeah. 
I don't remember this one. Yeah, but, it's the thing uh, about the street light. Okay. This, yeah, I don't. Yeah, flickers, I flicker back. I remember okay. reading that. Okay. I mean, I think you had to read it, so you'd probably know better. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. This is all the same. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Oh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's a little bit short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Yuki. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over at it after all. But remember the poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In the case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbioli symbolically, symbolically <laughs> compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place <gasps> of comfort, unable to let go of the past. That is new. It's not. Right. And soon to be left with nothing. I remember Are reading this. That's, That's a, a lot more solemn way, solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought about that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting it. Oh, no, I'm counting on you. Oh, my turn. All right. So we're going to save. We'll stop it there. We'll pick it up with Monica next time and see how this goes. Holy crap, has this game gotten weird. Yeah, I know. Except I'm, the only thing I'm sad about is the fact that they repeat some stuff. I'm curious to see, though. I want to see a scene where we haven't seen, like with that Suki, if you can skip. Because I'm thinking the way they want you to play this is to skip the stuff you've already seen. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, we'll we'll try that. Next time we get a scene that we haven't seen before, then let's see if we can skip. See if it'll let you skip. Because I noticed the skip button is was gone the entire last game. You couldn't skip at all. Okay. All right. Cool. Interesting. All right. So, yeah, we'll pick this up next time with Monica and holy crap. Yeah, this is bizarre. As it is anything. weird. I'm interested to see how this turns out. All Stick right. Stick tuned for another, like, two rounds of this game. Oh, my God. Well, if we skip, hopefully it won't be that bad. But holy crap, did that get weird? <laughs> <laughs> All right. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you next time.